everyone, today we're going to be talking about the different types of mists that there are. So I'm going to start with the Dilusions. These are really bright colors. They are transparent so you can see through them completely. They have no glitter in them. And they're just a lot, they're one of the more, the most vibrant uh, mists that there are. See how bright that is? Super fun um, to make bright cards with. And it comes in a wide variety of colors. Um, here's some of the ones that I have along with black and brown and now they have a white one which is more opaque alright and then we have the tattered angels these have glitter in them or gl not glitter glimmer as you can see on the bottom um, they're also transparent so you can see through them or whatever you spray it on if you have a stamped image or whatever to shake it up. You don't want to um, shake it because it's going to get air bubbles in there and then you're going to have splatters when you spray it. So you just want to roll it and just tilt it back and forth until all the glitter comes out or comes off the bottom. Alright, so I'll spray that. I don't know if you can see the glitter on the camera or not, but... It's shimmery. Alright, and then the last one that I have are the Mr. Hueys, which are definitely my favorite. There's a ton of colors. Alright, so these are more opaque. Um, you can't see through them as well when you spray them. Um, you also have to shake these up. That's one thing with the dilutions. You don't really have to shake them because there's nothing to um, mix up in there. But these you just want to kind of mix back and forth as well. Don't shake it because you don't want to get the air bubbles in there. So when you spray these, you can see it's more um, opaque and you can't see as well through it. Alright, and then if you want to get like the splatters on there, I always just unscrew the cover and then shake it on. Um, you can also take it and just tap like that to get the different smaller um, splatters. Um, if you want to get bigger ones, you can put it right on your sheet and just kind of draw or however big you want it on there. And as you can see, it dries like almost instantly, so it's pretty nice when you're doing layouts and you don't have to wait for the dry time. So yeah, those are all of the mists. So I'm going to go ahead and make a card right now with um, the Mr. Hueys. I'm going to use the Buttercup Yellow. And also, when I do spray my mists, I just have a cardboard box that I spray into so that I don't get it all over the place. And that way I don't have to clean up or anything. So I'm just going to start with my card base. It's 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and use one of the Studio Calico masks. This is the Chevron. So I'm just going to place it over my entire card base. And for the purpose of this card, I'm not going to go to the spray box. I'll just do it here, but that's what I typically do. And I'm just going to spray it in this corner so that the rest of it is white. Or there might be some mist, but I'm just going to spray it so that it's coming. And then you can go ahead and spray it a few times, however many times you like. Alright, and then lift your mask off. And then I always just clean my mask with water. Clean my mat off quick. Alright, and that was the Buttercup Mr. Hueys. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And then, I already colored and cut my image. I used the um, Lawn Fawn on the Men stamp set. 
<coughs> I used the flowers. And then these are the Copics that I used to color. The R22, R24, Y06, C1, and C3. <coughs> Alright, so this is probably dry. It's still a little damp, but... Alright, so this is gonna, just going to go in the corner. And then I got the Gat Ball Sentiment that's going to go right behind it. So I'm going to go ahead first and attach this to my card base. Then I'm just going to use some foam squares to attach this. I'm going to attach this to the back of my flowers first. Then I can go ahead and adhere my foam squares. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this in the corner. And then I'm just going to use some pearls to accent around. Actually, I'm going to use this liquid pearls. It's the rouge. It actually matches the color that I colored the flowers almost perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Put some of those on. Alright, and then after I put my liquid pearls on, I always just kind of tap on the bottom so that they settle down and are more flat than puffy. Alright, and there is our card using our Mr. Hueys and Lawn Fawn stamps. Thanks for watching and have a great day.